Today on Ridge Roamer, we're going to remove the stock license plate bracket hole mount here. Replace it with this nice clean tail tidy from Man in the Box. So the stock plate mount is quite bulky. Um, mine is actually already damaged. You can see it's kind of broken off along the bottom. Uh, license plate got bent up. Uh, that was from some shenanigans. Maybe we can uh, pull that up here real quick. And uh, after that happened, I was like, well, I guess that's a sign. Need to do a tail tidy. Looking underneath, it seems pretty straightforward. Looks like there's three 10 millimeter bolts there. Uh, those should come out. And then the replacement has got holes there. Should bolt right into place. So we're gonna go ahead, get started. See if it's as easy as it looks. So now that I've removed those three bolts, uh, it does appear that these two Phillips head have to come off as well. Pulled out this piece that was inside the fender and just so you can see which style it is. This is the ones with the push pins here where you press in in the middle and that releases. So now, unhook the harness from the little hooks there and we'll dig in the connector and get it unplugged. All right, connector undone. That removes the entire plate assembly. That undone. We'll go ahead and put the lower piece back in. Looks like the way that that clip worked was these little uh, clip-on nuts. So we'll move those from the stock piece onto the piece from Man in the Box. These are just little spring clip nuts. Slide right off. Orientation right. Slide them into place on the man in the box. Now there are also included some washers. I'm feeling that's a thickness and clearance thing. So I'm gonna put these on the bolts to make sure that the bolts don't bottom out and the nuts underneath. Oh. 
There we go. Tail tidy is installed. And we'll go ahead and move the license plate over. go old plate mount reflectors and light and everything is gone nice new compact tail tidy is installed